We're just here. Boom, boom, boom. Step out of the move. How's that, Nathan? Well, let's move. Smooth. That was smooth. That was smooth. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, AKA the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle People. Got another quick fire skipping tutorial for you, man. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like on this video. Gonna make sure you guys are skipping like bosses. Today I'm showing you how you can combine two killer moves together. Shout out to my girl Mana from Canada, who for me has pioneered this move, man. She's one of the first I see doing this. Uh, roll the B-roll, Nathan, on the edit. This is the move, right, guys? You're hitting double unders. And then you're going to transition straight into side swing hops. Boom, boom. You're watching this now, right now as I speak, hopefully. But basically, I've shown these tutorials in the past, each an individual move. And I'm going to show you how to really get it done correctly today. So let's go through live what we're talking about. Double unders, right? This is an intermediate to advanced tutorial for sure, people. Double unders, here's where you're at, right? Don't need to go into too much detail. You're composed. You're not flexing your knees. You can do them for days. They feel easy, all right? That's where you're at with the double unders. The second move we're gonna combine this with is the side swing southpaw hop. Now, killer move, again, I've already got tutorials on this one. Uh, this came out last year, two years ago, whenever it was. Here, it's just boom, boom. Right, this is in slow motion, basically, but we're just kinda using the southpaw techniques here, which is here, that's your normal southpaw. And then we're just kinda adding in this hop. The move and why it's so beautiful is because we're going to do this seamlessly. We're going to go from a double under into that southpaw hop and it's going to look really nice and slick. Now I'm going to try and do this very slow. You've seen it already, but we're just here. Boom, boom, boom. Step out of the move. How's that Nathan? Well, let's move. That was smooth. That was smooth. All right. Very simply, I say very simply, it's not very simple, but you have to control a couple of things. You've got to control your wrists and you've got to control your feet. Now, footwork is king. I've always talked about it. You have to understand how the feet work in this move before you can make it look seamless, right? So you're here doing your doubles. From this point, I land. I'm going to go to my strong side where I start the southpaw hop. For me, it's the left-hand side. So as I do this landing now, okay, naturally, instinctively, instinctively, I'm already leaning to my left because I'm now going to come to my left-hand side. Southpaw, as in open the rope from this left-hand side. The leaning towards my left is a pressure shift onto my left foot because right now I'm ready to basically take off with that left foot. And then I'm hopping onto my right foot. If you get this pressure shift done correctly, that's what make it look seamless. If you end up doing this, pressure's wrong. All right, I'm over exaggerating obviously, but it's gonna not look as clean. The way I like to think of this little pressure shift, which I think is the, the key part of this move, is when I land here, you have to sort of land still with both feet on the floor, right? But from here, I'm sort of feeling like I'm, I'm bringing the heel off the ground of my right foot, right? Because that takes the, the weight off the right, a bit more on the left. Then you'll be able to do that little hop on the left foot. And it kind of looks smooth and seamless, all right? Next part of this move, final part, really quick tutorial. Got your double, got your landing, got your pressure shift. The side swing hop now, people, needs to be in time. Doesn't need to be quick, right? I wanna make sure you're not trying to whip it open fast just because your doubles are fast. You wanna really land, give yourself a bit of time to just do that. So it's, yeah, so you wanna feel like the double, the revolution of the double swing is the same as the side swing hop revolution speed. It doesn't wanna be like fast here and then slow, because that's gonna make it look a bit like bookie, right? You're gonna look like you're trying to work too hard for it. Same speed for a double, land. And you hear the sound of the rope, the sound of the rope just sounds like it's kind of still going seamless. Final part, spice it up. You can now go to side swing. You can kind of go to here, here, here. Add a little side swing cross. All right, let's wrap this up. Little example of how you can spice this up. You can basically go into your doubles like however you want. Here. 
and then just finish it off like this. So I like it, people. Really cool move there, guys. Get it done. Short, quick tutorials for the intermediates to advance. You got double unders, you got sour pause. Now spice it up, add it together, make a super fire combo. Hope you enjoyed this video. Big thumbs up, would be super, super helpful for me. Help this community grow, help this channel grow. Appreciate the love and support. Go copy ropes, go copy merch. The mats, link down below. Love you people, see you in the next video. Take care yourself. Skip treadmill. Well out of breath. <laughs> Stay safe. Peace. I was the knight in shining armor in your movie. Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.